Hello, my name is Jan Thielmann and in this video I want to talk about the Create Data Web Service. Um, if you're new to web services, I recommend you to watch my previous video where I explain the basics on how to enable and um, use the web services. So um, yeah, Create Data Web Service. Um, the Create Data Web Service is one of the model-oriented web services the model ID service and yeah what I have done here is I have created a new web service where I want to create a user and um, to do this you have to enter a search key and a name and I'm not 100% sure but I think the name is the one you have to use as the service type in the, um, in the SOAP call then you have to choose which service type you want to um, to use, so in my case it's model-oriented model web service. Then you have to select the web service method, which is create da data in my case. And then you have to select the table which you want to use. And here I use the AD user table. And the reason I use this is um, it only has one field I really need to, um, to give because that this one can't be null, but all the other fields um, will be um, filled by the web service by default. So um, yeah, the next thing is um, to specify all the parameters, the input output fields and the access. And if you have no idea what you have to put in here, you go to Google and Google for Adam Pierre web services, <coughs> which will lead you to this um, wiki page. And um, yeah, this is um, from Adempierre, but it's um, still a good resource um, if you're new to um, Adempierre because the web services haven't changed um, that much in um, Adempierre. So here I go to the create data. And um, yeah, here I can see which parameters I need. So I can have the, um, yeah, this, this list here is um, which parameters I need or which I can use in my call. So um, yeah, you see here the service type is the name which I specified here. So um, this is not a parameter I need to um, add in the application dictionary, but I need the table name, the record ID and the action. And here you see it's not used in this uh, call, but it um, it has to be there. As you can see here, I um, when I open it, I created a new parameter uh, of the type free and called it record ID. But um, this is not used, but the web service won't work if you don't um, put it in here. So yeah, what you basically do is um, create a new entry and then you put in um, the record ID, the table name and the action. And here you have um, two types, constants and free. And free is used if you want to um, provide this parameter in your SOAP call. But for the most cases, for these basic parameters, I use constants. So here you see the action because in the create data um, call, it always have to be create with an uppercase C. And so I can just um, put a constant in the um, in the application dictionary and then I don't have to um, give it here otherwise I would have to make a new tag here underscore zero because um, as you see here my namespace is called underscore zero so make sure that um, you use the same namespace here um, then it would be a table name I believe or um, action and then it would be create and then I would have to close this. So, but since I have a constant in the database, I don't need this. Um, yeah, you need at least these three uh, parameters here. The um, filter, uh, you could put it in there, but as you see, it's not used. So it would have no effect. And interesting is the data row where you um, provide the information you see i have this um, data row tag here with one field and you could um, 
put um, as many fields in here as you like. But you also have to specify it in the input fields. So as you see, I only have one um, single input field because for creating an AD user, I only need a username. So here, when you click this dropdown, you get all the columns from the table you specified here. If you want to override the reference, if you have a custom table which has the reference, I don't know, um, a reference list, for example, then you could override this by simply using a string. The identifier is um, interesting um, if you use the delete or um, the update web service, but I will talk about this in another video. So yeah, um, let's leave this empty. Then you can specify oh, the output fields and here you can um, yeah, um, define which fields the response should um, include. But since we have a create data web service, um, it will automatically return the, um, the, the key column ID, which you will see in a second. So I can leave this um, completely empty. And at least uh, at last you have to specify the web service access. So here you can um, define which roles are allowed to execute this web service. And in my case, it's the um, web service execution role. And then you um, create a new request, which I have already done. As you see, I used a web service user, which is um, in the web service execution role. Um, I use the language um, 192, which is English, I guess. Um, 11 is um, garden world. And yeah, the role ID for web service execution is um, 50,004. I use um, the warehouse ID 103 because it works and um, the stage is um, the login stage. This was never really used, but you still have to put it in there. I believe somebody should fix this in the near future so you don't need this anymore because you have to al you always have to put a zero in here. So what happens when I execute the service? You see, I get a standard response with the record ID and it successfully created a new um, user. So when I select this, uh, you see the record ID um, fits the one created here. I can um, run this again. And you see every time I run this web service, it creates a new entry. There's also um, a create update web service, I believe, um, which you can use to either create an entry if it's not already existing or um, update an existing entry. And yeah, that's basically how you use the create data web service. Quite simple, isn't it? So if this video um, helped you, then um, please give a thumbs up. And if you think I missed something or if you have questions, then feel free to um, post something in the comment section below. And I see you in the next video.